Many industries have been affected by the coronavirus, and the poultry industry is one of them. The industry has seen huge spikes in sales, and with that comes a decline in supplies. But one poultry farmer says local farms are thriving. We are surprised at the number of people that are ordering birds. Andy Myers is one of the owners of Myers Poultry Farm in South Fork. Our sales have increased, uh, I'd say, double in the month of April, uh, just due to <clears throat> Farmers uh, that may have raised birds in the past uh, that haven't for a few years are now getting back into it. He says they have also seen increases in order sizes and also new customers. So the person that may have ordered a thousand birds throughout the year may be increasing to 3,000 birds. When we visited the farm, they were getting ready to ship out 48,000 Cornish broiler chicks for the week. A number that would be normal for June or July, but not April or May. Meyer says that could be because people are looking for something new to do. Because everybody's at home, they're trying to do something uh, with their family together rather than um, what they did. It was a, you know, a rush, rush style of living. With the increase in orders of birds, Meyer says they've had to bring in more workers. In the early part of April, we were we were really overwhelmed with the orders that came in. Uh, to our uh, to our online uh, uh, site and calls, um, we would uh, have uh, people in the office, and at the end of the day, still have uh, 75 to 100 messages uh, on our phone, uh, just due to the fact that uh, people are calling for birds. He says local farms are doing well. The challenge is in the, is in the bigger industry as a whole because their processing plants are shut down, so they can't get their meat to market. An expert at Penn State says there are issues on the larger market side, but that things are getting better. Chicks are moving, feed is being manufactured, chicks are placed on farms, farmers are growing out birds, processing plants are working, and, and now they have better procedures in the plants, so I think these partial plant closures and or running at 60 and 70 percent will improve with time. To help with that, Patterson has advice for folks when shopping at the grocery store. If there's no hoarding of meat or eggs, that, that's helpful to keep the pipeline in its normal flow. Um, just buy the proper amounts that you need. Even with the increased orders, Meyer says local farms could run into a supply problem down the road. As long as we can supply, then, then we'll supply. But if you know we run out of inventory, then uh, then it's not going to happen. He assures folks that they are doing everything the governor is asking. We go above and beyond to uh, maintain the safety of our employees, the health and safety of our employees, um, as well as the uh, the quality and safety of the birds that we uh, provide our customers.